Once a woman knows that she carries the BRCA1 and BRCA2 gene, she has anywhere from a 50 to 80 percent chance of developing breast cancer in her lifetime. And if you're walking around with a 50 to 80 percent chance of getting breast cancer and you're a young woman, um, most of these women choose to do something about it. One is close monitoring. So these women have a choice of being followed annually with MRI and mammogram. That doesn't prevent them from getting the cancer. They still carry that 50 to 80 percent risk, but it helps us find the cancer at an earlier stage. Another option these women have is to take anti-estrogen medication like tamoxifen. That also helps decrease their risk and we still have to continue to monitor them. The third option is to remove the breast tissue and that will decrease a woman's with a risk who has BRCA gene from the 50 to 80 percent down to a 1 percent risk um, by removing the breast tissue. Modern day techniques allow us to do that in a very cosmetically acceptable way. We do nipple sparing mastectomies where we keep the nipple and areolar complex and the patients wake up with fully formed breasts. Um, we also can do skin sparing mastectomies where we take away the nipple and areolar complex and that later gets um, reconstructed with a plastic surgeon. So the options that we have nowadays for cosmetic reconstruction uh, allow a patient to have the breast tissue removed and still uh, have a co uh, acceptable cosmetic outcome and uh, a good sense of well-being and wholeness.